guys this is Muhammad Abdul Qayyum welcome back so today's video I'm going to show you something different but I think you, you're going to like this so in today's video I'm going to show you like if you want to download some data from any other sources to your Oracle database by using Oracle FX so you can do, do this by using the tri these tricks so here like here uh, i use my github account and i upload a csv file over there uh, like this this data so i'm going to using the url this url and by using this url i'm going to download the whole data into my uh mp4 table there is no data right so i make just i make a button and the classic report and after pressing this button i execute a process by proce executing this process i'm going to download the old whole data from this source to my table mp info so let's say like see i just download the data from this source to my table so there is no data right now but right now all data is here I think it's very interesting right so it is not a tough job it's also a very easy job let's see how I, I develop this one first of all I have to create a page let's take a blank page and uh, what should I write here page name mm, download data from any source okay so create the page and then I'm going to create a region over there mm, the yeah I'm going to download the same data as what was I downloaded in previous uh, things so mp info so let's see let's rename the region name as imp info and uh, let's make a button for processing processing my for execute the process so uh what poll data so my url in my ui is done now I'm going to write down the process so let's create a process and pull data from uh, online source okay so here's the so I have to write down a block so I have already written the blocks but I go, I'm going to explain the block over there so it's very simple very short very very short process just I did insert into imp info and then my column names and here is the temporary table columns and this one is the table temporary table this one is the main things apex data parse parser so I actually whenever I execute the process it call a web service uh, using the URL and it take the whole data and parse the data and insert into my table so and you know the name of this uh, what the name of this file is CS info imp info CSV that's why we're putting the name of the file and this one is the file name and this one is the skip row yeah so we are going to insert the whole data but not the the not the first line right this one is the column names the, I, we are not going to download the csv column names so we are going to skip this line so skip rows one okay so that is the main things and the url is that this url let's copy and paste again for for your confusion because you're gonna confuse if you if I if I don't do that do this so validation successful 
just copy paste oh yeah I forget one thing I have to assign the button yeah I just assigned it so whenever I press the button it will be over there so oh yeah I have to make it as classic report to show the visual the data so select all from in info right so right now have already info I have datas so let's delete the datas yeah I deleted the 14 rows so there is no data in in, in imp info right so let's reload it so no data here so now let's execute uh, press the button and execute the process let's see yeah it's done so what I did we just pull the all that is from github csv file to our uh, oracle database table using oracle fx I think uh, you will enjoy it and if you like it please uh, subscribe my channel and if you need the code I will show the code as usual in my personal blog my blog is this one Kayumer blog, blogspot.com so I will post the whole course and steps stepwise over there thank you oh don't forget to follow the my uh, pay my blog to get the new post and many many interesting things thank you